Hey guys, just wanted to break down some Mayan astrology for you because it's a system that I think gets somewhat overlooked or shouted by the more well-known zodiac astrological system where you got 12 signs in it, each occupies about 30 degrees or 30 days. Uh, your Cancer, Sagittarius, your uh, Capricorn, so on and so forth. Like you guys already know the whole system pretty much or at least you've heard about it a lot more. Now the Mayan system is quite different. Uh, each sign is actually called a day sign. You know, they don't really occupy uh, a period of, let's say, a month. It's one day, one sign, the next day, another sign. It's pretty simple. And uh, it goes like that. There are about 20 of them, as you see here. And uh, But one thing that I would say is that there is a Tricana sign, which is... A Tricana is a period of 13 days where one sign pretty much uh, dominates, so to speak. But when it comes to the character of a person, the Tricana sign is more like a background sign. Probably contributes 20-30% of their character. But their day sign, which is the sign on the day that they're born on, will contribute their, the majority of it. So it works that way. And the 20 day signs in the mind astrological system right here in front of you, you got crocodile, wind, night, seed, serpent, death, deer, rabbit, water, dog, monkey, road, cane, jaguar, eagle, owl, earth, knife, storm, light. And obviously they all have their own um, characteristics, personality, traits, you know, strengths, uh, shadow wisdom and shadow transformation, things that a person may find challenging if they have that particular sign and things that may come to them easy all that stuff is in there you know so that's pretty much the uh, mind astrological system and here's an example if i can find one um where could i go get one oh right here my bad my bad that was in the album anyway here's a good example of uh I like this one a lot more of my astrological chart. Well, at least the basic part of it. You're born on the 4th of July, whatever year. Oh, I also forgot to mention the galactic tones. I'll get to that too. So your day sign in this uh, situation would be eagle, your tracana sign, which is in the background is dog. Eagle is more so a, a visionary type sign. Someone who sees a big picture. Someone who is... Uh, sees it all but doesn't like to get stuck in the details as well too long you know what i mean and uh, but basically the powers of sights and to a degree analysis are strong for the eagle you know you can also say that an eagle sign may be have may have a, a strong footing in the spirit world but also the material world as well because eagles you know they fly high but they can also soup low and come back down the Tricana sign is dog. The dog signs are pretty loyal, faithful, um, and justice is something that is very, very um, important for a dog sign personality. So you'll have that kind of sign in the background if you're born on this kind of day with this kind of sign. Another thing that goes so goes on is the galactic tones. Now, there are 13 galactic tones. If you're looking at this, something like this, it basically means that... Um, this person was born on the sixth day of the dog Tricana. As already mentioned, a Tricana has 13 days. So this is the sixth day of that particular Tricana. And that six gives you your galactic tone. Galactic tones are one through 13. Each one has a different meaning or attribute that it adds to the person's personality, you know. So one will, will represent something like unity, creation, oneness, wholesomeness. Before duality, there is that force of, you know, that origin of things you know what i mean so it has a creative aspect to it number six implies something about um rhythm i believe i have to go back and check again number five is overtone and power uh radiate in a way things like that number four if you have a galactic tone four that will symbolize a uh, structure balance because you know a table has got four legs think about something like that Number two is duality or lunar, pretty much duality. You know, you can see both sides to something easily. That's how you move forward. You have that kind of trait in you. It's heavy. Um, three is electric, you know, full of energy, full of uh, 
excitement, that kind of personality. So stuff like that is what pertains to the galactic tone. And now you go, you have the tree of life. And this is part of the same, you know, day sign for Tricano dog. There's also something called the tree of life that you get when you do Mayan astrology. And uh, it's basically broken down into th- three columns and three rows. You know, so you got nine signs in total to work with here. The top three, as you see, you got crocodile, deer, cane. These ones deal with your youth, you know, your water, eagle, crocodile, the ones in the middle. Those are the main signs of your life, and they deal with your adulthood too, but more so the main signs in your life. And the bottom three are the ones that deal with the, the mature stage of your life when you become an elderly person. Here you have earth, night, and water. Now, the one in the very center, which is eagle, that's the main day sign, the day sign that the person is born on. That's the heart of your tree of life chart. The one on the left, which is water sign, uh, the signs on your left generally are the ones that deal with your relationship with the material world, career, job, you know, power relations, whatnot. The one on your right, uh, you got crocodile in the adult section. You also got cane, you got water. Uh, in the youth and mature section, but the one on the right, the ones on the right deal with, uh, they're more feminine signs. They deal with your personal relationship, emotions, intuitiveness, spirituality. That's what that one deals with. So, uh, in the youth stage of this person, when they're born till about, you know, 13, 14, whatnot, uh, their main character or the personality may be somewhat governed by the deer sign. Their relationship with the material world, crocodile sign, their relationship with, uh, you know, personal issues, emotions, whatnot, cane sign. And you move forward in life into your adulthood. Uh, the eagle sign may come in strong during your adolescence. This one is your core personality, maybe your core purpose or life purpose. The one on the left, water, deals with your material relationship. Sorry, your relationship to the material world. And uh, the one on the right, crocodile, that pertains to your emotions, your personal life, like I said. And you move on into the uh, the mature sign at the bottom below it, which describe the uh, mature stage of your life. And it's the same uh, formula or same way of looking at it. Although the sign in the very center, the eagle, and maybe even its material and feminine sign, or this masculine and feminine sign, will be the more dominant uh, signs or forces or impulses that you a person will experience who is having this type of sign. So I hope I made myself kind of clear. I hope I kind of was able to explain some of these things to you. That's the mind uh, system. Obviously, there's more to it. I try to do signs for other people as well sometimes. I mean, I try to do well. Uh, readings for other people even celebrities i may share some of those as well it's kind of fun i really like this stuff 